Clown Chronicles 8. You write the title down again. Maybe this time it will happen. Letters will fall into perfect order. Create something worthy of ink, paper, time, and a brain that loves to overcomplicate everything. Let us allow ourselves to dream where the seam between reality and fantasy is no longer our addiction towards perfection, rather an acceptance of imperfection is beauty. Laying down in the eyes of the most curious beholder, watching a boulder rolling down the hill, refusing to shout and warm the lonely pilgrim, traveling at the bottom. Without a clue that life is much more shorter than advertised on six second ads while waiting for the song to load. Ah. What does it matter? It's all relative anyway. Besides, we're easily distracted. Attracted like moths to light, to preserve energy and flood the brain with dopamine. Ketamine. Anything that numbs everything to a silence that invites sleep. A place where we don't have to weep about the unjust weight of existence crushing our shoulders. We try to carry responsibility. It's all in vain. Look at the others. They have it much better than us. We find it quite appropriate to raise them to the ground. Resentment is in no short supply. No wonder when we break down everything in fragments without being able to suffer the consequences of complexity. Let us not forget how easy it is to lose any semblance of control when guided by primordial impulses mixed together with convenience. Progress is easy. Coping with change not so much. How befitting to forget its price when in rush to an orgasm, feeling the presence of God in the anger of lust, lost in viewing the only mechanism that makes sense, biology and the need to pass on the seed. This is what you get when you mix everything together. An unexpected epilogue, an ending worth nothing. Such is the way of constant uncertainty under the realm of going with the flow, susceptible to a change of mood according to the position of the moon. Quality can't be forced, neither can we. Get ready for the honk. We think we know we are remains to be seen.